Uh, so my name is Lewis Goodall, I'm a political correspondent for Sky. So essentially I'm currently um, travelling around the country in what is quite in a grandiose fashion called a lorry, uh, mainly because my name begins with L, uh, and me really it's more of a van. <laughs> and if I'd been called Vince it would clearly have been called Vince's <laughs> van. Um, but uh, failing that and failing a, a name change it's called Lewis's lorry and the idea is really to get out of London, go all around the country, uh, not just in marginal seats, which I think is a sort of traditional thing to do during a, a campaign tour, is for every news organisation to traipse around all of the marginal seats um, with majorities of you know uh, less than a thousand, but also just to go to places which may, on the face of it, have huge majorities and are unlikely to change hands, but nonetheless say something about the election, say something about Britain and Britain's politics and political geography um, as, a, as a country and how that is all changing and the sort of key trends that are not just powering this election but powering future elections and I think it's particularly important to do that in this election because I think this election will be you know what sophologists uh, and sort of voter boffins sort of call a realigning election i.e. an election which the significance of which stretches far beyond uh, the current, the next parliament, and actually sort of realigns the voter bases of the parties for potentially a political generation to come. I think you can overestimate how much you can get by just going somewhere for a day, right? And I say this as a man who's basically going everywhere for a day for, for, for a few weeks. You know, the kind of what we often mean when we get out of London is we mean you sort of rock up somewhere near a train station, say in Hartlepool, where I'm going later today. Uh, you know, you go to the town centre and you, you know, talk to a few people and they say, oh, I'm voting Labour, I'm not voting Labour, and that's, and, and that's it. Um, and how much do you really glean from that? So what we're trying to do with the lorry is a bit more than that, rather than just going somewhere and just asking a few people what they think, is to try and tell a story about that place and, and, and try and do that in a way uh, which usually involves a lorry in some kind of quite hilarious sort of context or, you know, or, or, or doing something in a place that's very redolent of that place to try and sort of tell a story about what it is that Blackpool or Blackburn or, or Bicester or wherever it is is sort of thinking. So it's more than just about getting some, trying getting some random voxes and sort of trying to just say, well, here's some, what some people think. Some people are voting Labour, some people are voting Tory. You don't really learn a lot from that. So the idea is to try and sort of tell a tale about a particular place, what that you can derive from that and learn from that about politics overall. But at the end of it, we'll, we'll be able to sort of tell a more coherent tale and we'll be able to say, ah, well, after we've had the results, well, we saw a bit of that in, you know, Exeter or we saw a bit of that in Edinburgh or wherever it is. And so that's the idea, really. It's just to sort of come up with, at least try and pull out some narratives that are going on with this election.